like bone crush Boy, I got God, don't fear none My line busy, take no calls Feels like I don't have no flaws Snakes in the grass, cut those off Yo, old squad shaking my bros rock Hey everybody, it's Eric Johnson from Airtate Throws Nation, and in today's video, we're gonna talk about some differences in the weight room. We're jumping from inside the circle back into the gym. I got a real special guest today, Nick Petrucci. Nick Petrucci is a doctor of physical therapy. He is also a former world-class discus thrower. Just recently uh, has a patent pending new training tool, and it's super awesome, and I immediately, with the way we train and our training philosophy, thought it was just an absolute awesome tool. I could see it being such a valuable thing for all kinds of athletes and people who are just into general fitness and why it's going to be so cool. And then we're going to have James do some demo and I'll probably put it on as well and do some old man style stuff, but uh, really cool. So take it over for us, Nick. Yeah. So we'll save another video to get in the specifics of the, of the moment arm, but essentially the inspiration <coughs> was to decrease lower back stress and resistance training. What separates it from everything in the weight room is the torque on the body. The load here is going to be behind you right so and there's a fulcrum at the shoulder so when you when you feel the load here it's going to take you into an extent extension torque and it forces you into a flexion torque so you end up into a hinge so there's really nothing in the weight room it's just we're working like a new dimension of mechanics mm -hmm. that you can essentially do it with like a loaded backpack or you can only, or a rucksack or something like that, but you can only load those so much. This thing can handle upwards uh, to 500, but... <laughs> You're gonna need to work up to that. Yeah, not only that, it's gonna affect balance completely. Again, with the barbell lifts, um, squat, deadlift, all the, basically the torque, if you can imagine I'm holding the mm -hmm. barbell, it takes you into that flexion, so it, it takes you onto your forefoot, so you compensate or adapt by going under the hill. You guess hear that all the time, stay back on your heels. Again, this is opposite, so this is gonna take you onto your heels. One of the things I thought that was super cool, as soon as you did it and you, sh you explain it and you put it on, again, because it's pulling you back on your heels and you f you have to naturally kind of engage, like you said, and create that hinge action, it really, I find it's neutralizing the weight through your foot the way you would optimally want anybody doing their squat or pulling off the floor on a clean or a right. deadlift. So it's immediate core engagement. It's like automatically correcting right. and preventing bad mechanics. Show me set up a vertical jump and stop at the bottom boom so we right. all end up here so right this is athletic position this is a sport it's a very powerful position to set up also when you jump you need to absorb into that you know if you land <clears throat> stiff right and that's one of the things when you let me try it out I put it on and immediately jump. It immediately forces you to land right because you're going to counter that. And I know as a the strength and conditioning coach and, and a throws coach that every year when we go through that, I always have to teach jump mechanics. And if you have something that's automatically making that correction, I thought that was gold. Yeah, that was fantastic. So again, let's just work on the, the hinge squat again. Squeeze, smash the, the melon, stab your thighs. There you go. Yeah, no, that's it. So if you look at the side alignment, it really aligns the sternum. Yeah. Over the knee, over the toe. Nice and balanced. Essentially, as we mentioned, so imagine a barbell, uh, just like a, a high bar back squat. Mm -hmm. So if he was in this posture, the line of force would be directly down to the ground. Right. The axis is gonna be your lower back. Right. Right. So if you draw that line here, that perpendicular line to that axis is basically the size of your moment arm. Okay. So if you compare it to the line of force, right? the T-Rex, it's way more posterior, so it shortens that moment arm mm -hmm. substantially. Um, you feel it? Oh, yeah. So you're really feeling your hips and your glutes a lot more, right? Plus your core is totally firing. First thing I feel is the hips and then the core starts to come in and then as I'm doing down, really feel the glutes. Good. And every everything just here down is just firing. <clears throat> okay, here we go. So before you do it, just <laughs> look at Nick. He's always worried. He's worried. Okay. Yeah, you're right. See, this is what I forget. I'm getting old, and I gotta do this shit. <laughs> Dude. Yeah. Yeah, this thing feels okay. And you don't need much weight to really feel the movement. 
take right. some. It is a different fill, but. Be sure to check out our next videos. Be sure to subscribe. Visit our website for free videos. Click the links below. We have links to our free mini course. Check out our websites for camps and different detailed information. Throw farther faster by understanding the science with the throwing chain reaction system. Thanks so much for watching.